we'll slowly lead into like the conversations that we have like over the phone with this topic because I have some notes and everything and 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 you have notes we have research that we've done it just come naturally we can't just like force it out it's kind of like it's kind of yeah. like lifting weights and you go to do a bodybuilding show like you could lift all the weights you want to lift the night before but it's really going to just be about all of the shit you did before right so don't worry about um what's going to come so that being said um you're watching the hottest new podcast um out i didn't say this neither this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is not me saying it this is other people saying it trust me on this one um but that's what people are saying so um if you don't know you should hit the like and subscribe button that'll really help grow this thing because it's hard as hell to be successful on youtube i was watching a video today um somebody was saying something like oh there's another way to monetize um i think he didn't say easier but he said it's another way to monetize with the youtube shorts saying like if you get I wanted to say he said 10 million views in a month you could monetize. Like, oh, okay. In a month? <laughs> in a month. <laughs> 10 million? He said something like 10 million. I said, wow. All you got to do is get 10 million people to watch it once. Wow. <laughs> 10 million. This is a long game. Like, if you ain't, if you're not really, like, having fun with it and built for it, you, you're going to really just, like, fall off. There's no what way. do you think about maybe boosting your post on Instagram? <laughs> nah. Mm-mm. Nah. I, I don't have the money to do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> I can't you, afford to do that. It's not even that expensive. It's like it ranges from hey. five dollars to Nah. Nah. No. Mm-mm. I just I told you I'm being stubborn with this whole thing. I don't think I don't think um I think things is very difficult to grow organically. So um I just like to I like to see and test it. I want to see what it looks like. If you put excellence out there and let's see what it does, you know, boom. On its own, right? On its own. That's it. I think it's fun doing that. Yeah. It is. Mm. To see them numbers, right? Like when it goes off like you know, I came across something today when I was doing my study because, yeah, I study every day, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, because I have the time now, but um, I came across something and I thought it was cool. I want to hear what you think about this. It said something like, men were designed to strive, mostly unsuccessful for greatness. Wait, what? Explain. Like, the way it sounds to me is that men were designed to basically strive and, like, be the best that they can possibly be. Be, like, uber successful, I guess. Live in abundance, but mostly unsuccessful. Yeah, that's the part that threw me off. What does that mean? It sounds like it means that not everybody's going to make it as far as you know, striving, I guess, for greatness or being great. That makes sense, though. Everybody's not great, right? Right. But most men strive to be great, wouldn't they say? I wouldn't say. <laughs> yeah, why? why? Most men strive to be great? <laughs> no. <laughs> Very rare. <laughs> no, no, no. So, what do, so, so what do men strive to be? Regular? Uh, I don't think most men strive. Wow. So, so what are you saying? I think, um, like if you get yourself a decent job and you're able to pay the common bills that'll, you know, keep you surviving, they're content with that. Then you go get you being so hard. Why you got me so hard on dudes, man? I'm just man? speaking facts. The majority of men that I know, it's rare to see somebody actually doing the most. Which, again, this is every. I feel like it's every every time I get up here. <laughs> it's what it takes. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not. Right. Right. And I, I was thinking about you when I came across that. I said, oh, yeah, she's going to like this. 
let me throw this out there. But yeah, that's how I that's how I um interpret it because it makes sense. Like on the um, I guess like how can I put it on like on the most natural level? Like what else is there for us to do? You know what I'm saying? And it, that's that's the, to me it just it just makes I sense. I mean nowadays there is so much that you can do a lot of nothing (laughs) i mean by that Mm -hmm. you know like yeah it would be the natural way but i feel that the life that we're living is not so natural anymore you know oh yeah explain i feel that as time went on life got very unnatural you know like look at what people do nowadays for example back in the day I would say the majority, if not everyone, would farm for a living. That's not what we do. We just go to the supermarket and buy groceries. Yeah, so we, which I think that's easier. That's definitely easier. So, so life is getting easier, which is not the natural way. Right. So you want a farmer? You want that farmer mentality? That would be dope. <laughs> you want the farmer mentality? You want a farmer? I, I'm not opposed to that. No, I get it. But you want that farmer mentality that get up and yeah, do the most. Yeah, strive. Strive. To yeah. get what you want. Most people are going to be unsuccessful with that. Why do you think? To me, it seems like it's survival of the fittest when it comes to like men competition. You know, when it comes to everything. When it comes to women, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to like political hierarchy is always like survival of the fittest and everybody's not going to be able to play whatever game there is to play to get to the top and um yeah i i can see that big time like i i know a lot of people who who are on a road to unsuccessful <laughs> to, to, un, to being unsuccessful at this at this at least if this so is what true. do you think um takes to be the fittest because when i think survival of the fittest i'm thinking I don't know, gladiator, like, yeah. who's the best fighter? But in all reality, that means something else nowadays, right? Right. So what would be the fittest? What would it take? Nowadays? Oh, man. Like, I feel like as a man, you have to have, like, some security yourself. That's the that's the most important thing, because once you have security... You get like major confidence. I know that. Like, and when you, you get to be more of who you who you really want to be because you're secure, and you really can't be secure if somebody could just take something from you really quick. Right. Gotta like, gotta you gotta establish your own at some point. To me, that's what it feels like, or else you can't really be free as a, as a man. I would hate that. That's a good one. <laughs> I, no, no, seriously, I get. Uh, I know what it takes, man. Like I said, I, I always want to be better than everybody. So it's just, this is just really natural for me, you know. I always felt this way since five years old. Like, yo, damn, why am I feeling like I'm always one of the best every time I walk in a room, if not the best? That's probably because you want to be. You just said it. Like you always want to be like the best at everything. I don't think that people are even thinking that way because. Everybody's so lazy now. Nobody's thinking like, oh, I want to be the best. Most people are thinking like, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to right. do the That's least amount of work to get it done. And I'm going to be okay. That's why when I came across this, I said, this is kind of cool. Men were designed to strive most unsuccessfully for greatness. And I feel guilty every time I read these things and I and I'm on the positive end of all of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so guilty because it's like, I feel like, damn, like one or two turns and I couldn't be here. But then I'm like, no, I still would be here because like, once I told you, like, it's hard for me to think outside of Ronald. Like, it, it's like, it, I got to right. not be me to think the other way. Right. Because I just think like, I'm always going to be like a, a great option. One of the best, like one of the better looking, one of the smartest, <laughs> one of the strongest. Like, it, you know, it, there is no, 
it's just, it's just obvious. Like it's not even <laughs> it's like we're just boys. It's Seriously, obvious. it's just obvious. <laughs> like after you work, 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 you just make it obvious. You make it obvious. Right. Yeah. It's because I, I live into. I don't want this to be all about me, but um, you ask me what it takes to strive. Was what I think it takes to strive. You know what I mean? You got to be so good you can't be denied. That's it. That's it. And the way to get that and do that, you have to develop like really good skills. And uh, that shit ain't easy. Right. It's not. Think about it. I'm unemployed now. And what I did with my time, I'm about to finish this whole book. Then I'm going to get another one because, Gisella, to be honest with you, everybody want to do podcasts, but I know how I'm going to beat them. It's a competition. I want to be better than everybody that's starting new. I don't want I don't want to see what I'm saying. A lot of people aren't even thinking like it's a competition. Most people are thinking like, I'm going to do what this person's doing. Yeah. And they be trying to talk to me like, I don't think about it as a competition. It's like, man, I would what? devour you. I'm thinking about <laughs> devouring you right now. You understand? I'm thinking about devouring your whole <laughs> argument right now. What are you talking about? You understand? I want to be the best. You know what I mean? That's what it take because I know that people that are doing this now I've crossed over to the other side of the straight entrepreneur. So this is what I do. I have fun with this. And now I'm taking the advantage I have. Now my advantage is I have all the time in the day while other people are working and hustling and doing this, which is dope. And I commend because I've been on that side. I get to read and keep developing my skills, my mental skills and all of those things that have that thing. And now it's like, I'm taking advantage of that shit. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, snap. Right. Like what's about to happen? Yeah. So if someone asks me like, what did you do all day? I could really, you know, it's, it sounds crazy, but you know, sat in my boxers and, and read a book because <laughs> like, this is, it behooves me to do that when I'm doing this. So I think it takes that stuff to be stuff like that to be great. You know what I mean? That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. I could imagine, uh, what, other unemployed people might be doing while collecting unemployment and it's not reading a book <laughs> yeah that, yeah I, I guess that's kind of different yeah yeah, yeah. i guess that's kind of <laughs> i guess that's kind of different i just like knowing more than the other person <laughs> i'm serious like it's all it's all like i just want the advantage all the time you know what i'm saying all the time so would you say that um is that why you educate yourself? Is that the number one reason why you educate yourself is to have the advantage or to be better than the next person? It, it's not necessarily about the next person. It's just I'm so into bettering myself a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the only reason why it's not about the next person because if you're not nowhere, like, if you're not even... There's no competition. There is no competition. That's why. Because honestly, like you're reading this whole book, right? And you've read, I don't know how many more books. I mean, it's not like you have people that you're probably going to discuss these books with. How do you show off? How do you show off? I, I do. Sometimes what I do is I like to, um, and I'm wrong. And I say that because I don't want to seem like I'm perfect. But I like to guess um, people's like next movements. That's fun to me. But they wouldn't know. No, nah, they don't know that. They don't, <laughs> exactly. Nah, they don't. But it's like I understand, at least I think, why people think the way they think. And a lot of times I'm right. And it's like I want to be wrong because I, I hate to think that. No, seriously, sometimes I hate to think I'm this smart and, I'm, and I just got this this far. That's it. So I, I kind of downplay it. Like, no, nah, I can't be this smart. You got to be wrong with like, this. I don't have to read. <laughs> yeah, this got to Right, right. Yeah, this guy, you can't be. <laughs> nah, nah. But, yeah, I definitely, um, that's what that's what I think it takes, man. And and when they say that and I, I look at, like, like certain people, certain individuals, and um, like I said, if I was a female, I wouldn't talk to them. <laughs> 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 like understanding these things and, and coming across these concepts and it's like yo okay now I see what it takes I see what it takes and I'm not gonna lie I'm I, I don't practice those like I'm not, like Casanova stuff or none of that shit no more nothing like that but like I've read these books and I understand like a lot of stuff I I feel and it's just like man Guys really got to get down with the um, psychological part of um, 
of everything. Of everything. Yeah, big time. I think it's super important because, I don't know, it's so easy to manipulate, right? Right. But if you're aware because you read on it, then you could beat it. You could be better. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that um, that's the problem with a lot of people is that their own minds stop them from doing what they should be doing. It's hard, though. <clears throat> I think it's hard. At least I do. What's the hard part for you? The, the what it, it's not hard for me because um like I really feel I'm going I'm on a mission it's different like I really want to be better than everybody <laughs> you understand it's it's not even funny like you know it, it's that's just fun for me it's fun exactly yeah I want to make sure when I'm walking somewhere I'm walking the right way I'm talking the right way it's all a character that I decide to play but I never turn it off that's the difference it don't go it don't turn off you know what I mean. Like when you decide to play these type of characters or be this type of person, like you're you're actively deciding this, like you know, because I could just decide tomorrow, like man, forget all of it, I don't want to do right. it no more, you know. But I'm this is the role I decided to play, and this is this fun, man. Like I think I'm the man. I know I'm great. You know what I'm saying? If God is out there and He doesn't like the stuff I'm saying, and based off what other people say about Him being so forgiving, He'll forgive me. <laughs> So like I said, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seriously, you know, right? That's True. what they say. So he probably think like, man, I love the fact that you did that and, and, and made people feel that way. I'm like, yeah. It- <laughs> 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 yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You know what your problem might be? You're around me. That's definitely a problem. You know, no, no, no. Seriously. So that I was, I was thinking about that the other day when we were having a conversation. I'm like, damn, man, you know what? Let me, um. Let me run this by her real quick. You know, this 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 run that by you real quick. I'm like, wow. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. I told you, man. I told you. I, I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't you know what's crazy? I do some of this stuff on purpose. Like in every in every like um everything I do. Every person I like, I'm with. I want to like. I don't do it. <clears throat> I show it by doing it. Like I don't. I don't want to say it, but it's like, I'm gonna show you. Like, watch this value, yo. That's what I'm feeling like every <laughs> single time. So it's like, that's what I told you. Everything there's got to be like some narcissism to that. But then you said it's not. I don't know what it is, but I know this shit is amazing. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> It's like I know it. I know it because that's what I. Oh, that's, I just I think that you know it because you're smart. Oh man, these students. <laughs> All my teachers are like, yeah, right. He to do his homework. It's so it's hard, right, to like not think that um it's narcissistic, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm still I'm still very hard on um on myself because there's a lot of things like I said that I want to do and levels that I want to reach that I'm very 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 far from and this one makes the message dope because while I'm far from it a lot of people are far from their own journey so we could go about it together at the same time right. and see and compare you don't might you don't probably not doing a podcast or anything but you can compare how hard you're going in your journey to what I'm doing in podcasts and stuff like that and and what it takes and compare it that way that's what I would do too like compare yourself to other people in different things, like at in their journey and their beginning. Like compare your beginning, you know, not your not your beginning to somebody else's end, because right. you can't do that. Because if you do that, you're like, damn, yo. Like I said, I I look at that video, I'm like, damn, this shit is so far behind. It's gonna take forever, yo. Oh my <laughs> god. I don't even like it's like crazy, but that's yeah, that's what it takes, man, to be that different type of dude. Let me ask you something. All right, so if they say, let's just go, still going by this quote, right? Men were designed to strive most unsuccessfully for greatness. 
So if most men are not going to be great, so are the great men those like, let's say for for argument's sake, the alpha males and sigma males, are those the great men? I don't. I don't know. Don't get me started <laughs> with the hierarchy. No, I'm, I'm no, I'm not. No, you don't got to go with the hierarchy. But <laughs> that, all I'm saying is that most unsuccessful for greatness. That makes sense, though, right? Because yeah, as a lot. we spoke about it before, ten percent of males would be alpha, and then the rest are whack. <laughs> <laughs> you can't nah. say that. You can't say nah, that. No, nah, no. Okay. Okay. Okay, you have some betas that are decent guys, I would say. They might not be striving super hard like an alpha, yeah. but they're doing well. They're going to be okay. Yeah. I guess, I guess, it, I came across something. I, it, didn't, it didn't say really good things about beta males at all, to be honest. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't. I was like, whoa, it, it kind of like had a different light on him. I'm like, whoa, a bait is bad. So I changed my mind. I'm, I, I don't even want to play this game with none of this stuff. I, I just was, think that um, there's levels to all of this. Yeah. This is why it, it's fun, the whole idea. But I don't know how much I believe in it because everybody's so different. Are all the good men taken? I don't know. Seems that way to me, but um, I don't know. Maybe there's a great sigma out there that is hiding out. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Keanu Reeves. I don't know. It depends on like um, how does this work? I I guess like if you look at it at a certain age, you would think. Certain men are taken. I, I mean, right? I guess you would just think like, look at relationships and think like, okay, is this relationship that this good guy or this great guy is in, is it going to last all the way through? If not, then do you come around the next go round or the next relationship <laughs> with this with this great man? Am I waiting for my turn? <laughs> hey, look, I'm I don't s- know how it works, but I do know that. Um, a lot of great men who are taken are not going to end their relationship. Okay. Unless <clears throat> the the woman decides that she wants to end it. And why would and why would um she end the relationship? I just think well now I know cuz I I read up on it but most women are the ones to end the relationship. Yeah. I feel like men, they're okay with just whatever. They're, they're so simple and easy to make happy. So it's just like nothing's ever that bad that they feel like they want to end it. I, I agree. It says um, men have less experience processing negative emotion in a healthy way. So think about it. We were talking about the, I think we were talking about, was it suicidal, suicide right. rate and how women suffer from depression more, but right. men, men, you know, kill themselves men more. End it. End it. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> they end that. Oh, oh, yeah, this is it. I ain't going to do none of this. So it's the emotional thing once again. And, um, and one of the reasons why, you know, I find it very hard to give men chances because they, like they, they're one way and even myself, but I like to be a little more, um, variety, but yeah. So. I really <coughs> wonder why that is. I mean, like I said, I feel like most men, I don't know. I'm not a man, but. I could tell you, don't worry. I would say that, like like I said, they don't look at it like as ever being that bad that they want to take it that far as to ending it. I mean, give me examples of what could be that bad where you just say I, I don't want to do this I, I'd rather try my luck somewhere else speaking for myself and my previous experiences and relationships <clears throat> I've ended um, long-term relationships because I felt that me and my partner 
weren't on the same page as far as growth and moving forward and moving up, like leveling up. It's like, okay, we have an apartment, we're living together, we have jobs. Now what? Mm. So there now what was, okay, when I get home from work, I'm going to play video games while you cook and clean and take care of the baby. And I'm like, you know, like, wow. yeah. I'm like yeah. this, wh- where's this going <clears> to <throat> take me? But there was growing up, I, th- I, I remember households like that. I mean, it's cool if you want to live that. If you're content with that, yeah, I guess that's fine. But when was a guy? I don't know. Okay, when was a guy supposed to know you? You're not content with it. At what point? Like, did that did that change? You know, because people change the way they feel about things. Did that change over time? Like, oh snap! You know what? Like now, all of a sudden, let's say you became now like you know what? I want more in life now. Yeah, you communicate. Okay. Yeah, because as far as couples go, I mean, in my experience, once again, I can't speak for everybody else, but there's constant communication on goals and the future. Yeah, I feel like in a in a relationship, especially if you're in a serious official one, yeah, you should be having those conversations. Like, okay, we're going to do this next. We reached one goal, which is, we both have jobs and we have an apartment. We're paying the rent, the bills. Boom. Okay. What's the next level that we're reaching? No, that makes sense. But I, you know, I do, I can see where relationships don't even have that in them. You know, thinking about that, like, you know, they're just in a relationship and it's content for right now. But then what if, what if both parties don't have that in them? Then what, what does it leave? What does that look like? It looks like two depressed people. What if they're not depressed? Like, can they, can you be happy just being content or do you have to like at some point level up? Can you be happy like being content? I mean, as we've spoken about previously, um, when your midlife comes in and you start thinking about the things that you didn't do in yeah. life, it's going to hit you. Mm. And then God knows they'll both start cheating on each other Mm. to look for that excitement. It can't be exciting to live that life for years. You're just not growing. I'm happy I'm fired. (laughs) 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 As you say that, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so happy I'm fired. Yeah, you're right. You're right, man. You're right. Because what do you do if you're not working on growth? Right. In any way possible. Like you're working on super growth. <laughs> trying to be super bad. But if you're not working on it at all, you know, mm-hmm. what are you doing? That's going to lead to you feeling depressed and just like. Yeah, well, yeah, that is a good point. Like, I don't know. Like I said, if you're not striving like this, we striving what was it? designed to strive for greatness. Right. Mostly unsuccessful. I love that last part. Mostly unsuccessful. The crazy part is this. <laughs> I think the strive itself is fun. Right? If you if you do have something in mind that you want to go for, even if you might not get it, the fact that you're striving for it actually keeps you excited. Mm. And like not so bored, right? Or depressed because you have something on your mind that you're working for. Yeah, you got a good point. Because even if you don't if you don't make it because you strive and just the sheer definition of strive, like you know, you're giving it your all, you're gonna find out what skills you do have and you're gonna be it's able to like cultivate you said, those. Yeah, you said yeah. this before, like find something, even if it's just the job that you do have. Right. Be the try to be the best at it. It builds confidence. Now, now, I think this is this. This was designed talking strictly for for women. Got to be because based off what we're saying, this doesn't make sense. Then, what? Because it's fine, like you said, striving is fine. If you if you're gonna be unsuccessful, most people are unsuccessful. 
but you can't just tell somebody not to strive because you know it seems like they're gonna but be that's unsuccessful the thing. It, the thing is that they're not mm. uh. so so it's just like you were designed to strive and most unsuccessful right yeah because everybody can't be at the top but nowadays nobody's like i'm not gonna say nobody but a lot of people aren't it's it's tough I, it, to be honest with you i make a lot of excuses for people i do but um let's just go over the things what is there to do i'm gonna i'm gonna come to you as a person who i'm coming home and i'm called to do and it up you know what i mean i got a good job i'm everything is fine i'm content I'm asking you, what more do you want from me? More money? You, you, okay. <laughs> Don't we want more money? Yo, you, you. <clears throat> I mean, okay, think so about it. How limited are you if you're not getting as much money as you can get? Yeah. yeah. You're limited. Something could happen. Two days from now, your okay. car breaks down, and now you don't have it. I got the rebuttal. I got the comeback because now I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little pressure on you. Okay, help me be a better man. I'm asking you because this is what I want to do for you, right? Mm -hmm. What is it that you want me to do? How I'm gonna get this money? Where is this money gonna come from? What skills do I have? How I'm gonna get these skills? And then what time frame do you want this money? I mean, you have things already that you like to do. We spoke about this before, right? If you play video games, maybe you can figure something out with video games if that's what you really like to do. Right. There are different options. There's so many ideas. You know, the crazy thing is, man, well, damn, if you made it that easy for him, that makes sense. It takes effort, man. You're right. It takes effort. Because even doing that, but I know, I know doing that is hard. It takes to play a video game. Right. Right. Right, but it takes effort to set it up so now that you're doing it online so it can be seen by people and, you know, this to set the whole thing. Yeah, that takes effort. It takes effort. It's going to take effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, All right, so it's going to take some effort. Right. Hmm. It's going to take ideas. <clears throat> it's going to take effort. It's going to take some figuring out. So check this out. What are the cues? Cues. That you can it are there are there cues that you can see that a man is willing to put effort. How do, how does how can how does he so how does he show that? Like, you know, because you don't want to find out later on that this guy is not gonna put in any effort, right? right? How would you know that before it takes something that you got to see him like put an effort in? I guess. Um... <clears throat> You would have to see him already putting in the effort Damn. into whatever he's trying to do. But when you first get with somebody, it's, it, it's going to go off of most of the time. It's like, you know, this person is working. He's making an honest living. I'm cool with that. It seems like somebody cool to date. But that's basic. And, and like you said, America has made it easy for people to do that. I mean, how hard is it to get a job? I <laughs> know how easy it is to lose one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was super easy, but no, no, honestly, you, you, you worked that job for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> now I do a podcast. So it was <laughs> easy for you to keep it for that long. Oh. The Good part with you is that you were working on other things outside of that nine to five to set yourself up for greatness. So now you're good. I got lucky. I feel like I got lucky. What do people do when they get fired, though? They go get another job, right? Yeah. And that's how easy it is to get a job. You get fired from one and you go get another one. And if you get fired from that one, you go get another one. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So it's not that hard. That is not that hard. <clears throat> mm. And then you have nepotism. <laughs> Somebody will hook you up with a job, one of your good friends. Yeah. That's how easy it is. 
Every time you say job, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm getting nauseous. I hate hearing that word. <laughs> I don't like hearing that Come word, on. yo. I don't, man. I've been through a lot, yo. Oh, God. <laughs> it's traumatizing. <laughs> yo, for real. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I'm dead serious, man. I walk in my Crocs like during the throughout the day. It just feels weird. He's <laughs> probably looking around like, oh shit. Like, yo, maybe with all the retired people like, is I'm walking. I'm a free man. This is crazy. Yeah, but mm. everybody's not going to make it, man. Everybody's not going to make it. If I had advice for, for a woman looking for an alpha male or that strong male, that big, I, I don't know. We, I, Definitely ain't at the gym. Definitely ain't at the gym. Where is he? He's probably nowhere to be found because he's putting effort into something. Yeah, massive effort. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Yep. You're not going to find him. It's hard. And then the men that are to be found are so like... I feel like a lot of men are so stuck in their ways. Like, I'm the man. I'm not going to listen to you. Because I think that women do have a lot of ideas and we are supportive. We're willing to <clears throat> see what that potential can possibly birth, right? But it's usually just that potential. I don't know. I, I, I can see, I can hear guys. Um, uh, like making an argument that, you know, it's never enough. Remember that whole thing where the woman goes up to the next floor and then she finally gets to the top floor and is like, oh, there's nobody on this floor. <laughs> like, no, that's all gone and you can't go back down. But um, I look at that to say. It's sad. Why is it that women are the ones that are trying to do that? Aren't the men supposed to be the ones striving for greatness? So why aren't men trying to like, be up there. Why aren't what, why, where, a what? lot of men at the top of the building where we're trying to go? Oh, okay. We want the best. Right. But at the top where all the best are, is is there's none there because the women that got up there first, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't, I don't I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I really don't know how to answer that. Like how they get up at the top or anything like that. I really don't know. But can you answer why is it that it seems that women want the most and it's never enough for us, but for men it seems to be enough. Yeah, that's just cuz we're 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 easier, man. They have this um they have this concept called Are uh, you easier? Well, like um just let me tell you about this concept. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you do the most. So you gotta tell me. You do the most. You wanna be at the top. Hmm. Uh, but But like what are you asking me right now? Like why do I why do I do that? Why are you alone up there? Nah, there's a lot of people up there. <laughs> <laughs> lying my ass off, right? <laughs> yeah, where they at? Nah, man. Oh man, it's like some people, some guys just their own guys. I miss my own guy, man. I just like to be, I just like to be Ronald. You know what I mean? The best person I could possibly be, and um, everything you know for the most part is competition. I gotta watch out for for other males, you know, because. You know, not in a physical fighting way, but I'm looking to take them out. You know, <laughs> why not? They look to take me out if I was weak. It seems like that's how it's supposed to go for me. And I like I like being an animal. And I think most guys should take an animal approach with a lot of things. And animals don't know how to half ass shit. They don't half ass anything. An eagle is going to fly as high as it can possibly go. You know, if they're going to fight, they're going to fight the best they can possibly can. You know what I mean? To the death. That's how they're going to fight. They don't, there's no half ass. There's no, right. we're, we're playing around. We're, you know, so a lot of guys want to do, want to do that stuff. And it's like, that's the easy telltale. Like guys like me, we mix around and, you know, 
we mingle with those guys like that, make it seem like, oh, there's no competition. But secretly, we're behind the doors, reading books, doing this, doing that, staring at ourselves in the mirror because we know eventually we're going to be on camera all day long. And, <laughs> you know, all these things are important. No, Everything is important about building. Seriously, I want to be better than everybody. It's so serious. That, I, I be telling people, that's what I say. I don't want to make friends. I'm trying to be better than everybody. You know? Cert, certain things just want to be good. And like it's people be like 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 how you be telling me like do I find people like that? It's like yo find people like who are like me like how I'm talking like this. <laughs> people call me crazy. People call me crazy. You know, but what I was gonna say was, guys. Oh, I are, need you to help these people, man. What help? What <laughs> help these guys? There's nothing. That like we can't just be <laughs> sitting here talking about how great you are. And how you're the best or better than the, like, I don't know. Give, give them some tips. Like, I, I you did. tell me. All right, here's what? the tip. Here's the tip. Here's the tip. I just said it. Be more like an animal. Like, be more like an animal. An animal's trying to be the best it can possibly be. So I see a lot of guys complaining about females, right? The females aren't the issue. The issue is you just got to change your game. I think, like, guys should be hollering at females all the time and getting rejected and improving their game all the time, especially if you're single. You should be you should be hollering at, like, man, you should be practicing your game on every single woman you see. Every single woman you see, because that's the manly thing to do. That's what you're supposed to do. In the animal kingdom, like, you don't, like, I don't see another bird being scared. They're going to be scared to holler. Like, you understand? It's scared to talk or scared to try to, you know? No. That, but, but like I see men do that like you know what's the point they get turned down or because the women or the females act in a certain way nowadays they they you know they they shy away from relationships don't want to be relationship it's like no you a man you're gonna control a woman anyway she's gonna talk all the stuff she want to talk you get the right one she's gonna be in check everything gonna be good you guys gonna be you guys gonna be like happily ever after see i say in check people are like oh I, I ain't trying to be in check but then i'm talking about happily ever after with it too you understand what I'm, saying? I'm talking about check the good me. stuff with it check me that, that's what i'm saying <laughs> that's what, that, that, that's what i'm saying like you know that's all that's all yeah but what would it take like it, it's it's not so simple to just go holler at these girls and practice you know trying to talk to a woman and, and getting inside their heads or or you really have to do everything yeah, yeah, else thing. you can't just i right, i got this girl now I'm like yo then what but, you're gonna take her home and she's gonna watch you play video games or okay okay you, you know have what have a plan. okay if you have a plan sometime guys got well yeah this yeah i'm talking about the guy that had the plan yeah okay you got the plan but be aggressive like an animal after you have a plan, don't like don't don't approach somebody and you don't have a plan and you're gonna go home and, and you're not doing the most. I get it. Now when I I see now what you're saying, women want to see that that extra effort. You know what else yeah, are you doing? You know what I, I mean. Think so guys should start like <clears throat> yeah. This is what I was saying. That you you we go, keep go, go, go. we keep cutting <laughs> each other off for good stuff though. It's nothing bad. But they say women are and creatures and guys are or creatures. So this to your to your to your point when you were asking me like um, I think you were asking me like what about me or whatever or something like that when it comes to females and stuff like that like I just like to go with what the science says so that's what I'm gonna go with because that's the latest thing I've read so I don't know anything about that so I'm just like I'm stuck in a moment. So explain that to me. So explain so explain it would be like and creatures are like it takes more for females to be like like into somebody basically like like turned on all the way you know what I mean they have different like. They, 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 I would agree. Right. So there's different sides. You know, you got to turn on the brain you gotta, and then bodies, two things. Right. So it's and. So a woman can see somebody that may look sexy or appealing, but she's more like, okay, and. Right. Right. <laughs> and, but see, a guy could see um, toenails or feet, breast, ass, you know what I mean? Face, any, a walk, the, the stilettos. He's an or, so any of that shit could turn him on. That's why guys have more fetishes than women do, because any of that shit could turn him on. Like, and he's sexually there. Like, everything's there. You know, it doesn't take much. So, 
<laughs> so there now to prove my point go yeah so now you keep going like and and so that's what you're saying like nine to five and like okay the next dude have that you know what i mean it's just a competition it's a competition survival of the fittest right. we said this we said this we said this survival of the fittest yeah this is why a lot of the women are the ones to end the relationship don't you think if women are and creatures, right? And we're just saying and, and. Oh, we're, snap. We're, yeah. we're saying that. Uh, this, is, this is bad. So men have to do the most now. Or <coughs> go find less. Like, go find somebody that's. No, that's good. You said <laughs> you, that was a good, that was a good pun. Or, right? Because, <laughs> exactly. or, because. That's the thing. They're or creatures. We're, or creatures. Weird. I say weird because I'm the same way. I'm just like, damn, that's crazy. Or, or like, it's just like, yo, we can go with anything. That's that's what the science says. <laughs> it's like, holy crap. That's kind of cool. Except that anything is going to be like, and. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can't go with anything, though. You know? Well, well not I guess not someone who is designed to strive and <laughs> that person will be successful in greatness. The unsuccessful, then it's like, yo, and? Exactly. Like, yeah, but I tried this. And, but you were, you were unsuccessful. <laughs> and? <laughs> like, damn. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. I uh, it's tough. I knew. I just. I don't know why. At five years old, I can always remember. At five years old, I remember it was a competition, yo. This is a competition, yo. I made sure my mom always had that part in my hair. I gotta have my part. <laughs> <laughs> I knew at five years old I had to have my part. <laughs> <This is> serious. <laughs> I gotta have my part. That's that's that was what it was. I knew it. You gotta stand out, man. Especially as a man, you gotta be the, one of the best. I understand so many things now with all this information because it's it's easy to see why women end the relationships because we're and creatures. So it's like, what else do you have? Yeah, I need to and know more. And then men don't end them because they're fine with whatever. Like, okay. Yeah, or. or. Yeah. But then it's like. What do you do? <laughs> Told you, yo, you gotta, <clears throat> you gotta wait for the, uh, <laughs> you gotta wait your turn. That's how you gotta do it. It's like I don't, I don't know. I, what I think the answer is online. You, you, you go to uh, what's the eHarmony? But then you gotta hope that people tell the truth. If people told the truth, that should have worked. I looked at the science of that one what time. Science says what? Yeah, people don't tell the truth. That's the problem. <laughs> like, you got to tell the truth, the whole truth. And, like, when you're typing that stuff in there. And then you're not really, a, people aren't good at, uh, evaluators of themselves. Think about it, me. If I was on there, I'll be trying to tell the truth but lying about the, <laughs> but lying about things. So, yeah, that doesn't work. Yes. I'm thinking of waiting for my turn. And if your girl broke up with you. I don't want you now. Wow. Because right. why she break up with you? <laughs> Stay right there. Stay right there. Yo. Why she break up? Yo, Nat T, women are like that. They need to know. Because <laughs> it's like, yo, hold up, hold up. <laughs> why she don't want you? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, I, I, don't try to bring this yeah, bullshit yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. What, what happened? What happened? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, man, I can't even like pinpoint it, but oh man, it touched on something just like that, man. That's a oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Like, hold up, because they okay. That's what they say. With women, when it comes to men, like women are like have a love and hate relationship with other women when it comes to men. Whereas, and I can attest to this. Whereas with men, it's either like ignore or kill. When it comes to women. Like, I don't give, you know, move on, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With women, it's like, wait, why she break out with him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened? You know? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? That information is important. 
Right. You know, with men, it's like whatever, man. I I can I can care less what the next dude is is doing or want to do. I can care less. I ignore or kill today. Yeah. This really hit me today. <laughs> like if you, you ended the relationship, I right, so we cool. You didn't. Oh, chill. What happened, yo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that inside information you want now, right? Exactly. Like, ah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I told you, man. I told you. Like, I told you, man. You, you watching this stuff, man. We, we're we trying to give you something different. We're trying to come on here with um some knowledge in this, uh, give you some of the conversations that we always have. A little it's different. It's really interesting. And people don't, I don't think, obviously, they wouldn't know, but we're still finding our stride, though. I I give them credit. We're still finding our stride. There's things out there that they that they're used to seeing, and it's like I said, it's a competition, and I love it. And uh, we don't deserve it yet. And when we do, it is what it is. You know, I try not to be. I try not to I be. I mean, this right here is valuable information. Mm. I think I said that before in a, in a different episode, but and creatures, you like that, right? And creatures, yeah. Yep. You know, what? <clears throat> when I read about men, right, obviously myself, I like to take an animalistic approach to a lot of stuff anyway. Like, you remember saying, like, because I, something is, I got, maybe I got issues, but I like to hurt stuff, like, and hit stuff. Like, you know, it, 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 <laughs> so I like to understand little things, you know what I mean? So when, when it's said, like, like how do women have a love and hate relationship with each other when it comes to when it comes to men. I would agree. Yeah. But on the opposite, a man would, would, would act like the, the most natural thing is not true. Where it's like ignore or kill. Like you serve no purpose in my life. You're just, you can help me move a couch. You understand? But everything else is women. Like, you know, like think about it. This is why I don't <clears throat> understand. I mean, I, I don't know, Ron, like, who is really the leader, the man or the woman? And as far as what, relationship? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Or overall, because... The man. Right, we're made to, to believe that the man is, but then it's just like, the man falls for something so simple. Toes, breasts. <laughs> we're the ones who actually want more. We're the and creatures. So you got to give us what's on the other side of that end, right? Right. And that's why you, you want, you, you strive for the most, the top dog, the strongest, most dominant male. And what, <clears throat> what would it take to, to get the top dog? Or anything, <laughs> <laughs> you, whatever he wants that day. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's a, Yo, what if it's the luck of the draw? Literally, like, what if it's the luck of the draw? Because they say, like, right, a man, right, falls in love. And that's the thing, right? A man falls in love, right? But he can still, I don't know, it's crazy. I don't know how to put it. This is what the book says. He, ah, I don't even want to get into that. I don't, no, I, I, I don't understand it. it. You, know what? you know what the crazy thing is? Because I don't understand it the way I need to understand it to, to, to articulate it. So I can't. But... Well, maybe I can help you understand it. Oh, man. I would have to search through the page. My eyes are going bad right now. <laughs> but um, we're going to get into that in another episode and okay. talk about that. Okay. But, um, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's a competition. Survival of the fittest. You know, you don't have to so be. So you think, do you think women are in competition? Is it survival of the fittest for us as well? Well, I read a book about woman rivalry before, <clears throat> but and then just finished reading this a little bit. This says something more like women just want to be desired on a subconscious level. Like they want to be desired, they want to be loved, they want to be they want to be the one that that he falls in love with. Because um, the jealousy is different between men and women. Men want to know how many sexual partners a woman had, and a woman should probably like round down um, if she's smart. And then, but women want to know how many people that have you fallen in love for. 
How, how, how many people have you fell in love with? Or uh, yeah, fell in love with? That said it right, right? Mm-hmm. How many people have you fell in love with? And if a man's smart, he says zero. <laughs> so the jealousy is different. Yeah, I, I, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that is, is a different thing. So like I said, man, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep putting this stuff in my head, man. This shit is great. <laughs> it is great. It's great. Now the next topic, we're gonna have to get a guest on here. We're gonna have to get a guest on here. What's the next topic? The next topic. I wanna get a guest on here. So if you watched all the way through to this, reach out to me. We can get you on the phone, figure it out. Chapter seven says boys will be boys. Gay cues. So yeah. Not the gay cues. Yeah, gay cues. <laughs> I wonder what But those before are. it got before it got to this chapter, it said something. Yeah, it said, um Indeed, there is one fascinating group of people whose brains mix together desire software from both Marple and FUD. So Marple is the Miss Marple's like detective agency. They say that the women have like they got to go to the detective agency to find out all of that stuff. And, 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 <laughs> and, and the FUD is like, um, Elma FUD. Like, I'm going to get you wabbit, like real stupid men to see a wabbit. Like, oh, I'm going to get you wabbit. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. So that's just that. God. Yeah. And, uh, basically they're saying gay men mix the two together and it makes sense because I guess they got to get men and stuff, I guess. So, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> this book is crazy. yo. this book is crazy. <laughs> this book is crazy. And you know what's the with the and 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 it talks about like highly like people with high sex drive, women usually can go like go like both ways because of the and 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 guys are usually straight with a high sex drive. They don't like a guy with a high sex drive is not bisexual. <clears throat> that it's something like that to that effect. Like he'll just be high sex drive. He's either gay with the high sex drive and just likes men mm-hmm. or same sex, you know what I mean? Or high sex drive and just like women. But a woman, if a woman has high sex drive, it's usually like a woman that usually can go like both ways. And I guess, and I, I don't know, I don't know how to and and or play a factor in that. But I think it has something to do with that. I don't know. We're like a woman, like, like <clears throat> psychologically she can be turned on. And physiologically to be turned on, but the two have to like she doesn't have to, have to necessarily have to marry the two. With a man, like if he's turned on, he's turned on. Right. So it's just boom. He likes what he likes. It's or or you know what I mean. So it's like that's what it is. That's why, because a man likes what he likes and he has a high sex drive. He likes what he likes with that high sex drive. That's right. what it is. Whereas a woman is kind of like and. and what else? <laughs> oh shoot! What else? Damn! You know? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh man, life. Oh. I can't believe we just put that together together. <laughs> We're not even scholars, yo. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody gonna get mad. I, I want to see somebody get mad. You get mad because we interpreted the, the book the wrong way or something right. was wrong. Yeah, you get mad at that, fine. But how do you get mad at people? Like I said, see, you be so good you can't be denied. I love that feeling. How would somebody tell me that I interpreted the wrong way? Uh, exactly. Like, okay. No, you interpret it the wrong right. way. You can't tell me shit. <laughs> you can't tell me shit. Like I said, nobody told you who could tell me shit though. Zeus. <laughs> I listen to Zeus. I listen to Zeus because there's so much work put in. It was almost like when I was doing the bodybuilding, right? I'm not built like a natural bodybuilder. I'm a, I'm a slim dude. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not built, but I did the bodybuilding shows. I had people tell me like, yo, you got to work on this more. That's why you're not winning. In my head, I was like, you can't, like, you could tell me like, um, you could tell me about a diet, maybe. You could tell me about stuff that I didn't really pay close attention to, but you can't tell me about a workout and a work ethic. Mm-hmm. Once you started, once you open your mouth to try to do that, I was out. You're wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong, yo. You're wrong. So you wouldn't even consider. I wouldn't consider what they're saying. No, I wouldn't consider. I didn't know. You didn't know what you're talking about. You're talking some cliche bullshit that you're thinking. Like, and men, you know, I know you know what you're talking about because you're around my age. That means that you would have to be a little older than me. I've seen this several times, and then now you know what you're talking about. But you know what you're talking about because you watched a YouTube video, something like that. No, 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 read no mm-hmm. books and come on. You don't have <laughs> enough years on this earth to be so to be so solid with the shit. Like, you know what I mean? 
Like I said, I gotta listen to Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> what is Zeus saying, yo? Zeus, where you at? You know what I'm I listen to Zeus. And Zeus says, son, you gotta calm down. I'm like, all right, Zeus, you cool. <laughs> Zeus would be a lot older, got a lot of years. He knows. He's seen this stuff happen. He sees what could happen. and got going by this way. He knows. I can let somebody that's a couple of years older than me. Like, what do you know? You just, you, you testing, know. you testing your knowledge on me. I don't know. I feel like you wouldn't listen to Zeus. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we probably, we probably go back and forth. <laughs> like, yo, I like my way, man. I like my way of doing things. Right. Yeah. You probably be like Zeus. You were living then, I'm living now. <laughs> you know, I got you gotta I guess with me everything, you gotta compromise with me. You gotta compromise. You know what I mean? I, I don't mind. Like you gotta compromise though. Like I wanna do things my way. <laughs> you know, why you so where's do that? the compromise? It's a compromise. Like you can you can taste some stuff. Like, ah, oh, Ronald, we should do this. And it's like, all right, I, cool. I, I'm gonna allow you to speak. <laughs> no, no, Am no. Am I gonna listen though? No. That's where we gotta compromise. No, nah, it's more like it's more like you know what happened. Like, if you got two guys, alpha males, right? They they will understand. It's a compromise. Maybe say we're gonna go like to lunch or something. This guy wanna go here. Like, now nah, why don't we go here? Boom, boom. So we compromise. But if one was an alpha and one was a beta, it would probably go more like, yo, let's go here. All right, cool. You understand? True. I'm more of a, nah, let's go here. Let's do that. Like, I want to go back and forth. I, sometimes you make a good point. I hate it. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, the next point we make is going to be mine. <laughs> like, I got to get the I, next point. <laughs> this guy got so many good points. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It's all. It's competition. But what else did it say? So what else? What else we got? We could just uh, we could just chill and freestyle a bit. Talk about um. So you say you went to a certain home improvement store today, right? <laughs> Lowe's, to be exact. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad, yo. I'm so glad, yo. <laughs> Damn, yo. You can't even believe that you did it, right? You did. It's surreal. That like yeah, for so long. Yeah, and 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 the way it went down, it was like it was so such at the right time and everything. Like it was just, and it's like that's how I know I'm a god, and and the gods work with me. We work together. It was just so beautiful. Like I don't even know how to put it. Like I was really like, you know, I want to phone with you. Like I'm like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I can't, yo. I, can't. I, I don't. I don't like listening to nobody. The customers, yo, nobody. It was bad. It was bad. Uh. <clears throat> I'm like, why is this person looking at me this way, yo? I don't feel like <laughs> helping you. Gisella, you see how they talk to me? <laughs> you see how the customers talk to me? <laughs> and I'm like, what? What was like, said? Yo. You know, that's the one thing I liked about COVID: wearing the mask. <laughs> it's like when I, I feel like when I put that mask on, I'm like. It's almost like I'm not here. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like this shit. A mask and a hoodie? It's like, yo, I'm not even here. This is dope. <sighs> Took that off and yeah. you were there there. Yeah. I, I I burnt myself out with that. That's that's what happened. I burnt myself out. I did what I needed to do because I said, you know what? Um, it's either this or or get used to somebody else's system and work for somebody else. Like I just didn't like it. I felt like I already did my bid for a while. I understand this system. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build something myself within this system so that when, when I get out of here, I'm going to be all right. You know what I mean? Because I, I just don't want to. I don't tell you. I told you. I don't like. <clears throat> I don't like men like that. I'm not really a <laughs> fan. You know what I'm saying? So I, what would you say were some positive things that you got out of working that many years for a company humility the biggest thing is humility because it's like i feel like i did a pledge a 15-year pledge because the way i am and the way i talk like who's gonna take that away from me it's like man shut the fuck up i did 15 <laughs> years i did 15 years you understand what i'm saying 
working with people, being 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 humble and you know. So yeah, the humility was big. And also the actual what I do now with real estate. I got the idea from being around those who do real estate right. all the time, like having constant access to them, looking at what they do, asking them what they do. So they, you make a good <coughs> point. And that brings me back to what we were talking about a little while ago when you were telling me like, okay, where do these people start? And that's a great point right there. You were working around people and you got inspired. Like, yeah. you know what? This is a good idea. Maybe I should look into this. And I think it that's how it happens. Yeah. But you have to have that mentality already where you know that you want to do something. And you got to be lucky, though, Gisela. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I did a lot of reading about the real estate. I did a lot of reading about a lot of things. But one thing is very important, and it is luck. No, seriously, look, I did the real estate at the perfect time. I couldn't have did it now to do the stuff I'm doing. You know what I mean? I did it at the perfect time. Like that was that was lucky. I was in I was in position. I prepared myself for when the luck came, but I got lucky. So it's like I'm, I, don't know I feel about guilty that. with that a little bit. I don't know about that. If if somebody were educating themselves now on real estate, then they would know it's not a good idea to get into it right now, right? Right. It'd be, it'd be difficult. There's ways, obviously, to get into it, but you just got to be the margins and the numbers are a little bit, like I said. I mean, for somebody working a nine to five, right? right. Yeah, that'd Working be at a company. I would say it's not a good idea to get into anything right now, right? Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's, it's, so if was you don't it know, luck or was it just you set yourself up for that? Damn, you think so? I took all my money out of 401k. I mean... <clears throat> At that time, it was good, right? It still is good because think about it. They would have fired me. The money that they had, I had in 401k, I wouldn't be able to buy a house right now or any property. It would just be sitting there. But that's not the only thing that that you can do. There's so many other things that you can do to set yourself up for success. Right. Right? So... You know what's crazy? I'm actually want to look into another thing, just because. Like, yeah, I, no, seriously, I want to look into I think another that's thing. That's great. Like, yo, know, if the real estate worked this way, let me look into another thing. You know, I'm doing it with the with the with the um podcast, but uh, oh my god, like I said, if you're doing a podcast, you better like what, what do you say, bitch? Put your big boy pants on. <laughs> this ain't no joke. This ain't no joke, especially if you're gonna be um talking the stuff that we talk you know right man who are we why, why do people want to sit here and listen to what we got to say i'm trying y'all i'm not wasting your time none of us we both are not wasting your time we're doing research like i said valuable information right yeah like no, no. this can help people right <clears throat> no she's right like I, I think she's right like like, come on, if you're if you're lacking in ideas, okay, we're not giving you like a whole bunch of ideas, but this is a way to get started. Read a book, go to work, talk to people. Right. Hey, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you start. And then once you get an idea, educate yourself. Yeah, like crazy. You can't just hey, I want to do a podcast and then not know where to even start or what to do or what this game really is. Yeah, yeah you know what? That's, that's another thing, too. Like, oh, God. Yeah, you got to educate yourself on what it is that you do. I'd say the same thing you just said. I'm about to say the same thing. <laughs> He's co-signing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's important, though, man. It is yeah, because you're just going to throw yourself out there and just wing it. Yeah, you're winging it. And it's like. And then you wonder why it's not doing what it's supposed to do. It could be something small, little thing. Like, ah. It's just like educate yourself and then put you in it. You can't just, okay, hmm, I have an idea. And then copy other people or 
Right. Look at something and, and then try to <laughs> do the same thing. No, you have to actually understand, hey, what is this person doing? Why is why is this so successful? Said look at something and try to do the same. Yeah. No, you can't do it that way. No. Can't, man. Can't. I I think about the next book I'm gonna read, man. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm gonna get these things ordered every week because I'm about to finish this one tonight. And this one's so good, I'm gonna keep going back over it. Like I said, it stopped right here. I was shocked. The next one is about the um the information that we can get from gays. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm really interested um in understanding, you know. See, from here on here on this acknowledgement in the the book. Okay, the, uh, so bibliography. you're pretty much almost done. Look at that. This is probably just about the um the gays. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but I I can't wait to uh just indulge in that and finish that. And then next on to the next one. On to the next one. Cause like I said, I know what people are gonna say. I know people. You know, people get in the comment section, they start going in and it's like you know, I want to. I'm gonna get in the comment section and get better with it, but you gotta be careful with. You know, just be good with it, man. It's like I gotta realize. You know, come with um good comments because I want to feel try to feel who I'm talking with, man. I don't want to. I don't want to think I just triggered somebody and they put like a two second comment in there and then you know, I, I I don't know. I gotta find time for that and get better with that. But I will be commenting back and responding back. You know, people got the issues, but. I don't expect um, more. <laughs> right. I mean, I don't know. To me, it's like I know people are going to feel triggered with this stuff because yeah. they know that they're going home and playing video games right. or even women. They play video games? Like now I no, they watch Netflix. Mm. Oh. Uh, Damn. Murder, uh, what is it called? Murder mysteries. Murder mysteries. Murder mysteries. Reality television. So it's like, I mean, I don't know, but men could care less if if women better themselves. Yeah. Or do true. they? Or creatures. Or you could you could better yourself, or you could not better yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a doctor, or you could work at White Castles. You could have a big butt or you can have big breasts you could <laughs> have nice feet or you can have a pretty face you can have pretty teeth or you can have pretty feet you can have pretty <laughs> hands or that's what or is right so they could care less yeah exactly like <laughs> if women go home and watch netflix you or, good babe or you not. good babe <laughs> okay yeah i'm gonna go do something else How much is there is how much what else is there to do? That's what I'm trying to say. What else is there to do? Okay, you go better yourself. Okay, what if you don't want to better yourself? I guess that's the only thing to do is better yourself. Yeah, because like I said, that, that that's the that's the answer to the question. Men were designed to strive most unsuccessful for greatness. And now let's take men because you can't say humankind and man, so let's take men out of there, <laughs> right? Let's put people were designed to strive most unsuccessful but for greatness. Were people deciding to strive for greatness or just men? I think people. Yeah, that's especially probably Especially women. Especially women. I was about to say especially men. No. How? Women should strive to be with a great man. <laughs> yeah. So because there's not that many of those. Yeah. Oh, now yeah. we're striving to help this man be a better one. The problem is I'm just joking. This is not a problem. I don't know if it's a problem. I just like playing games like this. This is the conversation that we have. What if men and women didn't get equal pay? What about it? Then men would have to work harder. And then women would see the value in more men because men make more money. So now you're not doing the same. You're not making the same money as men and you don't have to put in the same hours. So you get to be home more. You know, you get to save your body, preserve your body war. Why do men go out and work and do all of the hard stuff? And then maybe women can look at men like, oh, wow, this guy's a provider, at least. It wouldn't be so much about striving to be the best. 
So then why were 65% of the women, I mean, 65% of the divorces in 1867 <laughs> filed by women? Yo, man, listen. <sighs> if it has to do with equal pay. You know what the problem is? Birth control. <laughs> no, it's birth <laughs> control. Like, I feel like now you're just looking for any excuse. Think about it. Think about it, right? If there was no birth control, no condoms, no none of that stuff, right? Take HIV out of it. I'm just talking about women getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. Every time a woman dealt with somebody, she would know, like, damn, there's a possibility I can get pregnant with this dude. This mm -hmm. dude you know, and it's a real good possibility. You understand? Because, mm -hmm. you know, so... That would make things really, really interesting. Because what would now you think happen? Huh? What would you think? Like, what would happen? The same men that, were winning, that are winning, winning now will win. And, but the times, times more, I guess. Why? Because the women won't, will have to have the social proof of somebody who's going to be able to take care of whatever happens if that were to happen. If there's possibility for, like, offspring of babies. This guy at least has proof. I'd have proof that this guy is able to take care of me and this my children. This is a great idea. <laughs> you think it's a great idea? I mean, if we looked at it that way as women and stopped looking at potential and started looking at actual evidence, then we would be better off. Right? I think this is what you're saying. Yeah, but... but only way you can do this is if, this was, if there was no contraceptive methods. No, we can really practice that now. Let's say we held out, right, and didn't give it up until there, this guy comes along that is actually showing us something like, I have this house already, or I have... Something <laughs> you said, I have this house. I'm already. doing You're this, already good. like, yeah, look at me. I, I'm doing this every day. All the ends, the ends, yes, a lot of ends, right? Answer those questions. So, the guys got to know for guys watching, you got to answer and questions, just ask yourself Keep because nowadays yourself. men are, are just getting worse. That's because the females are getting better. I'm just joking, but could that be a, could that be the possibility? The females are getting equal. I'm not sure what it is. Equality. Equality. There's no but point. There's that no just point of a man. That just to what I said. 1867. I'm not sure <laughs> what year equality happened. That had to be just. That had to be only white people. I don't even. I, I can't mean, fathom 18. 1867. 65% of divorces were filed by women. So what was going on then? They were getting because married the too quick. Because the percentage... They were getting married too quick. They didn't have contraceptive methods. They didn't have birth control. So what happened? So they got stuck. Stuck with who? Stuck with the men. That they didn't want to be... Oh! Thank oh, you. God. <laughs> she set me up. <laughs> she set me up. I don't you like that. You set yourself up. <laughs> She set me up, yo. <laughs> oh, man, yo. I try to protect the men. <laughs> I couldn't. She set me up, yo. I, I, I mean, because it's a great idea. I get it. Like, oh, if, if women didn't have that equal pay, then we would be looking like, okay, you know, this guy's making great money. And, but I think that there are men already that make more money than their wives. And... That still doesn't work. I don't know. Because besides all of that stuff, like we're very psychological, right? Yeah, women are just women are smart. Men, we're not stupid though, but you guys just have that shit naturally. From what I from what I studied. But uh who am I? I'm a D student. <laughs> but if you watch this to this long, man, shoot. Um, just hit the like button because you probably already subscribed. Nobody does watch it this long and didn't subscribe. And if you watch this long and didn't subscribe, you must be, um, shoot, must be a district manager. <laughs> 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 oh, 
dying. He said, he said, yo, Rado can't be in this building with me. No way. No That's way. That's hilarious. No way. My boy, I told my boy, my boy said, my boy said the motherfuckers was like, oh, do you think he gonna have a podcast? Do you think he gonna be in here, be coming in late, <laughs> because right. of his podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, man, yo. Yeah, I'm not even mad, though, man. Can't even be mad, yo. What we got? Hour and 24 minutes. Chop this up. Put it on YouTube. This whole two-hour video, hour and 30-minute video gets gets 17 views. And the reels, shoot, the reels just be taken off. I don't know how it works, but you guys got attention spans like gnats. <laughs> It's all over the place, yo. It's so worse. Yeah, I can't do anything. So we, it's the countdown. We're at that? thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. <laughs> yep. So I already said I had to say we out of here. You got anything to say? That's it. Uh, yeah. We gonna catch you later. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to it's like that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's good. <clears throat> First time we did a whole joint. Ah. Yeah. Having a blast, right? Yeah. Like, holy shit. I'm like, damn, Sometimes this I shit stop dope. I can't believe I'm learning as much as I'm learning. I'm like, <laughs> like you getting super fucking smart. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. I'm like, <laughs> like oh that's shit. Like, and like, like, and there's more books out yeah, there. Yeah, you like, oh, fuck. Can I just read that shit? <laughs> oh, and an or. I'm like, oh my god, niggas. That's this really shit. interesting. That's a good concept. To look at it that way. This shit right here, them working on creating more reasons for the and. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even exactly. Like, it's like, like, come on, what do, what do you have? And then, and then what 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 nigga knows about it? A mag nigga. What the fuck do I need to know this shit for? This is why I feel like um. <laughs> I don't need to know this. Men and women would be great together if if men would really. Be willing to do what it takes, yo. 